After his successful loan spell in the championship with Sunderland this season, I think Ahmad Diallo is ready to return to Manchester United next season and not just compete with Anthony for a right wing starting spot in Ten Hag's front three, but I also think he could potentially be utilised in a role that I have been talking about quite frequently recently. But before we delve into the tactical side of Ahmad Diallo in Ten Hag's side, let's analyse Ahmad Diallo as a player. So Ahmad is an excellent dribbler, having an elegant technique, which alongside his low centre of gravity and close ball control, allows him to intricately dribble through players in congested areas. And so this means that when he gets the ball in the final third around the box, he's got excellent quick feet to move the ball quickly. And this season at Sunderland, he showcased his ability to cut inside on that left foot. And similar to Anthony, he has this trademark long shooting ability. However, whereas Anthony has really nailed down the technique of curling the ball into the far corner, Ahmad has a lot more variety with his shooting, able to curl the ball into the far corner just as Anthony does, or use his laces to drive the ball with a lot more power across the goalkeeper. We've also seen him mix up the placement of his shots, sometimes going to the far corner and sometimes disguising his shot as though he's going towards the far corner before coming back across the ball and going to the near post. But he's also got the ability to pick up goals via making runs into the box and receiving passes or making runs to the back post and getting on the end of low crosses. And from his FB Riff report, we can actually see how good a shooter he is as he overperforms his non penalty XG, which sits at 0.17 per 90, ranking in the 38th percentile, while he actually scores 0.33 non penalty goals per 90, which actually ranks in the 80th percentile when compared against every other attacking midfielder and winger in the next top eight leagues in the world below the top five in Europe. But he's also a great contributor outside of the box as well. When we look at his passing metrics, we can see just how high his pass completion rate is for his short, medium and his long passing, which definitely bodes well for a system like Ten Hag's. As you would imagine that Ahmad would be able to seamlessly integrate into this side, being able to connect with players around him like Bruno Fernandes, Sancho, etc. And he also ranks in the 80th percentile for his passes into the final third and the 75th for his overall progressive passes. Once you also factor in that he ranks in the 78th percentile for his successful take-ons, the 64th for his carries into the final third and the 79th for his carries into the penalty area. And you can see that Ahmad is a winger who can progress the ball forward in a variety of different ways, whether this is being able to carry the ball forward at speed when the space is in front of him, elegantly take on players in congested areas, or find forward passes into players in the final third and in the box. And so naturally I thought that Ahmad would be perfect for the 3-8 role, which is a role I discussed in depth in a video that will be linked in the description below. You can find a full analysis of what the 3-8 is from that video, but in short, a 3-8 is basically a hybrid between an attacking midfielder and a winger. And so if Ten Hag was to use Ahmad in a central row ahead of Casemiro alongside someone like Bruno Fernandes, giving him the freedom to push up between the lines and also flow over to the right flank as well, then I do think he could be able to develop into a top level player from this position than he otherwise would from the flank and by using him in a central position he would be able to get on the ball a lot more often and take advantage of the space in the centre of the pitch. However, surprisingly his chance creation metrics are pretty poor compared to his ball progression and goal scoring metrics. As he ranks in just the 17th percentile for his XG assisted, the 23rd for his expected assists, and the 8th for his key passes. And so we can see that whilst Ahmad is showcasing his ball progressing and goal scoring ability, at the moment at least he's not at the level needed to be a significant chance creator, which is obviously going to be needed from a player playing in one of those two advanced central midfield roles. And so despite by watching him being able to see that he obviously has the ability to see and find sharp threaded passes into players around the box and finding runs in behind the back line via his through balls. His metrics from his FB Ref report show he's not doing this frequently enough. And so that is definitely a part of his game that he needs to dramatically improve in order to be able to compete for a starting spot in this United side. And so given that he is now 20, 21 in the summer, I think next season is the right time to bring him back to the Manchester United squad and have him compete with Anthony for a starting spot on that right flank. And if you watch my video where I compared Garnacho and Ahmad to Anthony, you'll see that I did make a prediction that Ahmad Diallo in two to three years would be a better player than Anthony, so he's definitely a player I'm very excited about. As I said in previous videos, I am now doing full video and channel reviews. So if you want me to give you any advice or feedback for a specific video or for your whole channel, you can send an email to atlantisfootball96 at gmail.com. But if you just enjoyed the video, you can check the description for more. You can subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you do get notified when the video comes out. And put your thoughts in the comment section below. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which will be in the description, for more content as well.